What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and in this video, I'm gonna be covering for you the latest stimulus updates regarding new $391 PEBT payments that are going out in the month of November. Gonna let you know each and every one and the details. Also, stimulus checks of $170 for low-income individuals or EITC adult tax credits going out in the state of Connecticut. I'm gonna get you all the latest information. And also, SNAP max benefits in various states which ones have been approved, and the specific dates that you can expect to receive those. I'm gonna cover all the details for you, and as you guys know, this is your stimulus update. If you want information on every level of stimulus for states, counties, cities, federal level, stimulus checks, child tax credits, social security increases, be sure to do me a quick favor, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. And with that being said, let's go ahead and start off. Now, let's start with the SNAP pandemic emergency allotment distributions for November of 2022. And these are a month delayed, so a lot of them are gonna be in December. And also, you guys, I'm gonna let you know specifically when you can receive these for each state. I'm gonna put these on the screen so you can see them for yourself. Let's go through the list. So first up, we have Alabama, and you can expect those November 30th and December 1st. California, December 17th. Colorado, November 5th through November 11th. Hawaii, December 12th. Kansas, December 21st through December 30th. Illinois, November 21st through November 29th. Kansas, December 21st through December 30th. Louisiana, November 5th, November 12th, November 19th, and December 3rd. So once every week. Maryland, November 4th through the 23rd. Michigan, November 12th through November 21st. New Hampshire, November 3rd, November 18th. New Jersey, November 1st through November 5th. New Mexico, November 1st, November 30th. North Carolina, November 22nd, November 31st. Oklahoma, November 10th through November 15th. Oregon, round one, November 10th. Round two, November 29th. Round three, December 3rd. Rhode Island, November 3rd. South Carolina, November 1st through November 19th. Utah, November 26th. West Virginia, November 2nd. Wisconsin, November 19th, Washington, D.C. Regular issuance is scheduled. Now, in addition to that, I want to cover for you, and I had uh, reported this to you in my last one, the October allotment dates, which went out in November. As you know, they're a month delayed, and we have some updates on these as well. So these ones include Alabama, which is distributing October 31st and November 1st, California, November 19th through November 26th, Hawaii, November 14th, Kansas, November 21st through November 30th. Massachusetts, November 2nd. Minnesota, November 8th through November 30th. Nevada, November 12th through the 15th. And Vermont, November 14th. So we had some updates on Minnesota and Nevada, but those are the October allotment dates. And again, if I did not read off your state in any of these lists, uh, several states have put an end to these. These are only being extended out while we're in a state of emergency due to the pandemic. And the president has announced this will continue on until January of 2023. So these funds are still available through February of 2023 since there is one month delay. Now, the states that no longer are issued issuing benefits uh, include, ended in 2021, Mississippi, Tennessee, Missouri, Florida, Idaho, Montana, South Dakota, North Dakota, Nebraska, and Arkansas, and in March of 2022, Iowa, April of 2022, Arizona and Kentucky, May of 2022, Indiana and Georgia, and August of 2022, Alaska. And those are the updates on SNAP benefits. All right, so next up, let's cover some stimulus checks going out in the state of Connecticut. Now, this is for low-income individuals known as EITCs, Earned Income Tax Credits, or adult tax credits, they're also known as. And also, let's cover the latest states with PEBT benefits and the latest on their arrival time. So, link in the description below to this article that says, Lamont sends relief checks to thousands of Connecticut working poor families. GOP calls it an election year gimmick. Now, the article says Governor Ned Lamont's administration mailed out nearly 248,000 checks to low-income households this past weekend, the second time in the past two months a state tax cut 
haircut delivered tens of millions of dollars to Connecticut families. Now, the governor and his fellow Democrats in the legislature's majority hailed the $42 million mail-out on Friday and Saturday through the Earned Income Tax Credit Enhancement Program. So this is just taking place, noting it will help some of Connecticut's poorest working families. But Republicans called it the latest in a series of election year gimmicks, since elections are just around the corner. Now, the EITC enhancement and other relief measures this summer and fall are some of the ways that our governor and legislature have tried to make living, working, and raising a family in Connecticut a wonderful experience for all of our residents and taxpayers. The Department of Revenue Service Commissioner Mark Botton, whose agency issued 247,655 checks to households that earned less than $57,414 in 2021. Now, the compromise specifically called for more than $42 million in emergency pandemic relief to be sent this fall to working poor families that qualify for the EITC with the returns filed in the spring of 2022. And the average check sent out to households in this past weekend was roughly $170. So there you have it, you guys, the latest low-income stimulus check going out in Connecticut for uh, households, for those that collect EITC benefits. So again, that's happening in the state of Connecticut. Link in the description below if you'd like to read more. Now, let's cover some of the summer PEBT benefits that are going out. And the first one is Arizona. The Arizona Department of Economic Security, or the DES, will begin processing school-aged children for their summer PEBT benefits starting October 31st of 2022. So this is going out, and DES is processing the eligible school-aged children by school district. So depending on your district is when it will be sent out. DES anticipates that it will take five weeks to process all of the eligible school-aged children in the state. So the state of Arizona, those PEBT benefits summer is going out right now. And here's a little bit more information for you. You will receive a PEBT card in the mail in your student's name. It may take two or three weeks for you to receive this card. This card is like a debit card. The card has funds on it that can only be used to purchase allowable food items listed below. So that is the latest coming out in Arizona. You can expect those cards. Next up is California. California Department of Education, PEBT 3.0 and Summer 2022 PEBT benefits that are coming. Now, the article jumping down into the No Kid Hungry California website says that children under six years old, PEBT 3.0 cards for young children under age six will begin being mailed out in October of 2022 for benefit months August through December of 2021. The cards will be reloaded in November of 2022 for benefit months January through August of 2022 for existing card holders. New PEBT 3.0 cards will be mailed out to any young children that are only eligible for benefit months January through August of 2022 in November of 2022. PEBT 3.0 cards will be mailed out in alphabetical order based on first name and school age children, TK through 12th grade. California will begin mailing out PEBT 3.0 cards for school age children in November of 2022 for benefit months August through December 21st. The cards will then be reloaded in December of 2022 for benefit months January through August of 2022 for existing cardholders. New PEBT 3.0 cards will be mailed out to any school-aged children that are only eligible for benefit months January through August of 2022 in December of 2022, and PEBT 3.0 cards will be mailed out in alphabetical order based on the child's first name. Next up is Florida, the Florida Department of Children and Families. Here's the information, uh, summer 2022 PEBT. Uh, and if you scroll down, summer 2022 PEBT benefit issuance is expected to begin in October of 2022 and will run through November of 2022. Eligible recipients should expect to receive their payments by November 30th of 2022. So coming up in just one day, households already receiving SNAP benefits will receive summer 2022 PEBT benefits on their existing EBT cards. Next up is Texas. Texas summer PEBT benefits how to get the $391 food stamp payments. Now scrolling down here in the bottom to the conclusion, it says that Texas summer PEBT deposit schedule. Eligible households will receive their summer PEBT benefits 
in mid-November. Now, in order to receive this $391 PEBT payment in Texas, you will need to have a child that is currently receiving free or reduced lunch, and the deadline to apply for free or reduced lunch through the school district is August 28th. And in conclusion, Texas will issue $391 summer PEBT to eligible low-income households with school-aged children. The benefit will be dispersed sometime in mid-October. Remember, for each eligible school-aged child in your household, you will receive $391. This means that if you have three children in school, you will receive $1,173 in the state of Texas. Next, we have an update on the state of Connecticut. Pandemic EBT. Overall, Pandemic EBT food benefits are going to be going to over 203 and 100 school children on October 31st. The Connecticut Department of Social Services, or DSS, in collaboration with the Connecticut Department of Education today announced that $79.4 million in special food assistance benefits will be distributed Monday, October 31st, 2022, to families of nearly 203, 100 school children who are enrolled in the free or reduced priced meal programs and who receive the services from the Department of Social Services. Now, this is a disbursement of food benefits that will go out to a total of approximately 286,360 school children through the federal summer pandemic EBT children in school program. So that is also going on in the state of Connecticut. And also we have the state of Illinois, the IDHS, Illinois Department of Human Services. And when will summer 2022 PEBT benefits be issued? Uh, summer 2022 child care PEBT benefits were issued between August 11th and August 20th. Summer 2022 school PEBT benefits for children enrolled in public school will be issued between October 11th and October 21st. Note, new PEBT cards for the first time students and to replace any inactive cards are not expected to be completely distributed until the end of November. So if you're waiting on those, those are still on the way, please allow time to receive your new cards. Summer 2022 PEBT benefits for students enrolled in private school are to be determined. Now, how will the child receive the PEBT benefits? Each child is eligible to receive school or child care summer PEBT benefits. See eligibility criteria list above. Uh, they will receive one-time fixed amounts of $391 uh, for their summer benefits. Now, how will these benefits be issued for the summer of 2022? If your child is already receiving school PEBT benefits, the summer of 2022 PEBT benefits will be added to your existing PEBT card account. Now, while the IDHS did issue benefits to the same account students had from last year, many students will receive inactive cards due to the time lapse from the last issuance. You do not have to order a new card. IDHS will review, and if your card is not active, IDHS will send you a new card automatically. If your child has not received school PEBT benefits, a new PEBT account will be established and a PEBT card will be mailed to the address provided by the school in your child's name. Now, for summer of 2022 child care PEBT, benefits will be issued onto the household's existing Illinois link card and individuals may request a new link card by calling 1-800-678 5465 or visit the Illinois link cardholder website. So there you have it you guys. That is the latest updates happening right now with stimulus benefits including earned income tax credits or low income checks happening in the state of Connecticut, SNAP benefits, and also those PEBT benefits that are going to be rolling out for children. And as more information rolls out on stimulus provisions uh, on every single level, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. And again, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button to see more. Check out my second channel, Steve Ram Finance. Check out my kids' channel, uh, Liam and Naya. I'm very proud of them. Launched their own channel. A new video coming soon. They're just waiting on dad to edit it. Uh, and also, if you want access to a comprehensive list of every stimulus check in the nation, I've assembled one. Uh, took me three months, but it has all the information on every level for every stimulus check available, over a hundred of them, at www.reliefroadmap.com. But with that being said, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed weekend, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is Steve.